Hi everyone, my name is Zach and I'm the Bite Size Engineer. In this video, I'm going to try to solve a problem that maybe you can relate to. I have a really hard time remembering to turn off my soldering iron after I've been building a project. Sometimes I'll come into my office the next day and I realize that I've left it on all night long. I really like the idea of my soldering iron being able to send me a notification anytime I forget to turn it off but it would be even better if I was able to remotely turn off my soldering iron when I received that message. When I told my friend Jonathan about this project, he suggested that I give the soldering iron some personality and he came up with a really good suggestion on how to do that, so you're gonna wanna stick around to the end of the video to see what his idea was. To do this, I'm going to need a microcontroller with Wi-Fi capabilities. I don't need anything fancy here, so I'm going to use a Feather Huzzah ESP8266 Wi-Fi microcontroller. I'll also need a way to disconnect my soldering iron from the wall outlet, so I've got this little relay module that sits right on top of the microcontroller. For this project, I'm using the Arduino IDE. So I'm gonna go into the library manager and I'm gonna search for something called the Universal Telegram Bot Library by someone named Brian Locke. There are a bunch of tutorials on how to use this library, but I'm just gonna go into the example and kind of follow one of those. I need to put in my Wi-Fi credentials and then I also need to create a Telegram bot. So to do that, I'm gonna go into the Telegram app and I'm going to search for the user Botfather. And then I'm going to create a new bot for this project. From there, I'll get the bot token and I'll copy and paste that unique token into my code. That bot token is what creates the link between Telegram and my code. I don't have to use Telegram for this project. I could do the same thing using email or WhatsApp or even an SMS message. But I happen to have used a really simple Telegram bot library in some of my previous projects, so that's what I'm gonna do here. Now that I've got the Telegram bot sending and receiving messages, I need to be able to activate and deactivate the relay based on those messages. So next, I need to add some logic that starts a timer anytime I turn on the soldering iron. And when it's been more than 45 minutes or some other predetermined duration, the board will check to see if the soldering iron is still on. If it is, it will send me a notification asking if I'm still working. I want to be able to remotely control the soldering iron, so I need to add some quick responses that will let me turn it on or off. If I ignore the message altogether, after 15 more minutes, the iron will just shut itself off. I want to be able to safely connect my soldering iron to this relay module, so I've got a couple of connectors here that will make that job easier. I've also designed and printed this case for all of the electronics. I added a button and a status LED so I can turn on and off the soldering iron manually. This is working really well so far, but I think my soldering iron is missing some personality. My friend Jonathan suggested that I use ChatGPT to generate some funny slash snarky notification messages from my soldering iron. So I made a list of 20 snarky responses and it will randomly choose one every time I forget to turn the iron off. So here is a demonstration of me forgetting to turn my soldering iron off. It doesn't matter if I'm in the other room watching a movie or if I'm in my bed late at night researching my next project, I can turn off my soldering iron from anywhere. This same project could be adapted to control other appliances as long as their current draw doesn't exceed the rating of the relay. Is there something that you regularly forget to turn off? If so, what kind of funny or snarky responses would you program this device to send? I would love to hear about it down in the comments. 